Hello everybody, welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis and oh do I have a good one for you today. We are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart together. I'll be going over the current short trades that I'm holding on Bitcoin, where I'm holding these two, the important support levels and everything in between. All you need to do is pay full attention to this video and you will get the best insights into the Bitcoin trading game right now. So without further said ado, let's get into what we love and that's trading Bitcoin. So the last major update that I gave you all was obviously explaining why I had finally entered into another big short position on Bitcoin and that was off of this at $24,200. What did we have at $24,200? We had the top of that four hour uh, parallel channel. That was a parallel channel we've been waiting for for a month to be hit. We finally came up to the top of that channel and we got our really nice rejection to the downside. Okay, From that rejection to the downside, there was obviously a few levels above us. First of all, the CC, as you saw just prior to that, that naked point of control. And uh, this is where I've done that video where we were obviously we done the chart champions meetup, which by the way, uh, was absolutely outstanding. Um, but yeah, during that chart champions meetup, we obviously were looking at it together and we had this CC, which was obviously here. And I had this bias. I had basically this bullish bias that we're going to go through this CC and catch everybody out going through that CC at the very least. And in the end, we did get through that and we actually rejected really perfectly off the NPOC. As you can see, back on the 22nd, this was the 22nd at around 10 a.m., I said to my team, you know, this is the next resistance that we've got to be looking at. Up at that value area high, which is also the naked point of control, with that 23,800 as a really key resistance level. You can see the CC coming in there at 23,500 to 23,600. My thought process, although, although yes, we of course got to be aware of the level is, I have this bullish bias. I think we're going to get through it because we have much more confluence at 23,800. We have the value area high, as you can really simply see the value area high there, on the NPOC and you're also taking out more liquidity. So I ended with this, basically this thought process, as I tried to explain really briefly in the in the uh, vlog that I done. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna, you know, I've got this bias that we're gonna get through this CC, looking for a push through that, stop out the early shorts at the very least, and then we'll see the reaction. It's all about the reaction of what happens at that NPOC and value area high. If we blast through that, we'll be getting new highs for sure. But if, you know, this is our level of resistance, let's check the reaction, see what happens. And obviously we got a really clear as day rejection off of that, whipped straight onto the NPOC, touching it by $8.00. And uh, yeah, obviously a, a, a clear wick rejection off of the value area high. And this is what then led us into, okay, we've seen the rejection. We had a bearish CCV setup on that day as well. And uh, well, in the end, that target obviously hit out. This is the simple as day, clear as day update that I gave yesterday to my group. <laughs> I am now in short trades expecting lower. <laughs> or you can see people, how we've already re repaid this. This guy, uh, Hassan, made my, my made my subscription fee from this cool legend. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this was obviously posted in the read-only channel that I have within Discord. Obviously now, people wanted a really clear and simple place to come, see our charts, see what we're thinking. This was my clear as day <laughs> post that I made inside of the read-only, coaches-only channel in Discord. You're only going to see the coaches post in there. I'm in short trades. I'm looking for lower right now. And well, <laughs> fast forwards almost 24 hours, we can see the reaction that we've had for that. And then lower we got, lower we got. So as I have talk talked about pretty extensively now, we had the reason we rejected here, basically the channel high. We were waiting for one month for that level. I think you're only fine. CC Paul were the first traders in the world to recognize 24,200 and also recognizing that as a channel high. From that, we got our rejection back into the NPC value area, higher of that mini range, which we were rejected from. And now we've made our way back down to the middle of that parallel channel, which sits around this daily. So we come down onto a lower term time frame. We can see the wick onto the middle of our parallel channel with a reaction. And now we're, we're getting another pullback. Okay. And we're going to be now looking at things such as the order flow, the CVD, what's coming down into this level in terms of the volume to judge whether we'll be getting this lower high or whether the trend continues and we're moving, moving back down towards that daily at least. Of course, then if we lose the daily, we've got that 20k psychological once more, just below it, I'm really looking for lower 19ks. But you know, it's one of these levels. Yes, yeah, a psychological level base. It has been tried and tested. 
So obviously the bigger bigger support would be down there at the weekly. But, you know, as I always do, I recognize our levels of support. I recognize the level of resistance. And then it's trade the reaction at each of those levels. For example, let's say we have this daily level above us, which I'm looking at as resistance. Let's just say I have my price alert set this daily and I'm wait ready and waiting for the reaction. And let's say I'm looking for the short position here and I see this. Price alert goes off and price simply goes straight through the level. By having the alert set, I simply take no trade. The reaction was no reaction that I was looking for. I'm looking for shorts. If we blast through the level, I have the alert go off and I'd really say, say to myself, no shorts. Okay, but let's say we have this. I'm looking for the reaction. We see a clear as day rejection. And then that's a trigger for me to take that short. So what I like to do is have my alert set at these really key levels of the chart then really simply judge for myself, is this a bullish or is this a bearish reaction? And that can be as simple as, have we broken the level or not? Just as when I recognize that as a key resistance level, the way that you can see here, we wick, wick onto that level. I mean, just take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we wick straight onto that value area high. That's a level you've got recognized hours in advance of exactly where you're looking for. You see that wick onto the level and a rejection off of the key resistance levels that you've got ready and marked out hours in advance. And you can see that, that was the literal high off the move to bring us all the way back down to the middle of the channel. Okay, so I hope you can start to recognize here, you know, just no, nobody in the world, nobody in the world can deny that our technical analysis is not on point right now. Um, and so, yeah, and then I've briefly taught you through what I'm looking for next. Okay, why I'm holding these short positions, I'd even be now looking for that top off of the daily for a swing failure pattern, um, you know, and then, you know, then we can be looking for things such as market structure changes. But right now, we've just come simply back down into the middle of the range. And it really simply is, let's trade this range until it breaks. Um, so yeah, this was the quick update that I wanted to do. I'll end with this final thing of thank you ever so much, honestly, everybody that came to the Chart Champions meetup. That was the biggest turnout we had yet. Over 50 people at that Chart Champions meetup. It was absolutely amazing. Um, like Lee says here, uh, you know, it was it was really great to see 50 people. It was a big turnout. And, you know, we had people flying in from all over the world, people all, all the way from America, some people from South Africa, of course, over from Russia. I mean, we literally have people all over the world coming in here and uh, coming together, like-minded individuals, like he says, like-minded individuals, and people have truly made new friends. I could see that from their reactions, seeing what people were saying. Uh, you know, it, it was, it was, it was something special. Yeah, people coming together, talking about trading. And I truly, truly know this from the comments, like people have have felt like totally more inspired. They've come together, they've heard their different stories, they've listened to, you know, what they're doing to overcome their trading, um, you know, shortcomings, what they're moving on to next. And it has been a really, really, really special time. So I just want to say shout out to everybody that came to that Chart Champions meetup. Um, you know, great to see everybody getting along, making new friends and uh, moving on for that next level of inspiration to what's to come in your trading. So I just want to say, yeah, thank you ever so much. And uh, of course, the next Chart Champions meetup, I hope to see even more people because, you know, these are special. We absolutely love to do them. And uh, yeah, it has been an absolutely great time once again. So uh, yeah, thank you ever so much to all that came to that. I uh, hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you've understood briefly my thought processes. I've tried to keep this one short and sweet with some key levels of what's going on here. I go over this so I am educating you. You're starting to understand and you know some of the key levels that we have then below us really simply and a big level above us here. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Again, if you want more, if you want these sort of, <laughs> if you want simple, sweet updates like this, that's obviously over in the Chart Champions Discord. And then if you want to learn the theory behind all the trades, that's over at chartchampions.com. We got all the theory and then you got the, uh, you know, you got the updates like this over on the uh, champion section. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video and I'll catch you over in the Discord. Thank you ever so much. Hope you have a great day and goodbye. Oh, actually, no, I'll end with this. Of course, no financial advice. This is an educational video. Thank you ever so much. And now, goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>